Hello everyone, my name is Darren Waka and I'm the author of Vasco Technology Made Simple. I have received a couple of emails in um, imaging of the low extremity veins and also the extremity uh, arterioles as well. Um, so today I decided to do a video on low extremity veins on how to obtain your images and also landmarks that you can look for to help optimize um, your images. So today I have a young model with me today. The first thing you're going to do when imaging the legs is first of all, you have them bend their uh, knee towards you this way. Now, another thing I always tell uh, my students is for example, you have your thigh. This is the thigh. Your vessels almost 99 to 100% of the time are right at the center of the thigh. So again, pretend this is your thigh. The center of the thigh goes straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down this way. And you should be able to identify your vessels if you stay at the center. And if you have to make any changes, a little bit of movement to the right, left side would help you optimize your image. Today I'm scanning left-handed, so please uh, bear with me today. I'm going to start again at that center that I told you from the groin, okay? And as I start at the center, um, again, you can see that I have that probe at the center. Right away, I can see my vessels right there, okay? Again, I'm gonna go further up into a groin there, and you can see common femoral vein, you can see the artery, and I'm going to just start sweeping down her leg. Um, and I'm staying at the center. You're gonna see me kind of hold with both hands so I can stay on, because I'm scanning with my left hand today. Again, center, and as I stay center, you can see that the vessels are on in the image. Center, 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 center of the vessel. As I get to the distal segment, you can still see the distal uh, femoral vein right there. Um, as I get to the distal segment, of course, we know it gets technically difficult to image the femoral vein. So what I do at this point to get an optimal image of this segment that I'm unable to see, scan it from this window, I'm going to go right behind the knee. Now, again, this is behind the knee. Okay, your popliteal vein is behind the knee. You're gonna put the probe right at the center. And the moment I do that, get some jelly there. Again, I'm right in my popliteal vein. Popliteal vein is right there. Now, to get the distal segment of the femoral vein, what I'm going to do at this point is, I'm going to start sweeping towards her head. Towards her head, towards her head, and you can see on my screen there, that you can see the femoral vein. I'm going towards her head, towards her head. You can see at this point, that's your artery, that's your vein. Artery, vein. You can see the vein winking at you there. Again, this is me going towards the head to identify that distal segment of the uh, femoral vein that I didn't obtain. Now this is me coming back again towards the popliteal vein. You can see at this point again, the vein is right up top again. And I'm gonna sweep down, sweep down, sweep as far as I can to make sure I'm not missing a clock. Again, I'm sweeping all the way down behind the knee, okay? So this is very important when you're imaging the popliteal vein and when you're imaging the distal segment of the femoral vein, okay? All right. <clears throat> now you all know that once you're done with this part of the test, the next thing you do is try to take a look at your cap vessels. Always when doing a DVT study, the first thing you do first is compression images first. You wanna make sure the uh, patient does not have a, a clot in their deep system. Once you've done a, a total compression of the deep veins, now you can go into putting color and also obtaining waveforms and doing your distal augmentation as well. I'm also going to try here to identify uh, the cap vessels on this patient. Also, when you do this as well, you want to also, I'm gonna show you what you do with the leg. Again, in the calf, this is your calf. If you wanna see a posterior tibial veins, you wanna stay right at the center, right at the center of this vessel. When you stay at the center of the vessel, you're able to identify your posterior tibial veins, okay? All right, thank you all for watching. My name is Darren Nowaka, again, the author of Vascular Technology Made Simple. If you need any more further reading on the studies I just did today, you can go on www.divinescanning.com. And on that page, you would see um, the, this book. The book is actually, um, what I love about this book is 
Um, it's a very small book, um, has all the protocols you would need um, when imaging um, any vascular, uh, doing any vascular studies within uh, the vascular lab. I also have this book here. It's a physics uh, book that contains all physics um, formulas and how to use those formulas as well. The book is also available on Amazon as well. Um, so again, feel free. Um, if you have any questions, you can um, e uh, email me at divinescanning at gmail.com. Thank you, and you have a good one.